Hello guys, welcome back to the daily weekly market update. We're going to dive into the latest financial news, trends, and shenanigans. I'm your host, Mush, and let's get into it. Advantageous to everyone, am I correct? No. <laughs> Number one rule of Wall Street. Nobody. Okay, if you're Warren Buffett or if you're Jimmy Buffett, nobody knows if the stock is going to go up, down, sideways, or in fucking circles. Least of all stockbrokers. First up, guys, let's talk about the stock market. The S&P 500 and the Dow both had a bit of a roller coaster ride this week with the S&P 500 ending its five-day record streak of a slight dip of 0.1% while the Dow inched up by 0.2%. Meanwhile, the Nasdaq experienced a 0.4% decline. Despite these fluctuations, the market remains dynamic, reflecting ongoing trends and investor sentiment. With that in mind, guys, let's look at some of the top performers this week as we got a few notable mentions here. BRT, DKNG, NUVO, CNX, or I'm sorry, CNNX and UEC. All those RS ratings of 90, making them some of the strongest and most liquid stocks on the market right now. FOUR, SANA, LAXO, and BLND have all had strong weekly and monthly moves, making them high beta stocks to watch. Uh, the risk and the reward ratio is very good, so you have a higher chance to get the reward rather than having a risk, per se, um, with a high beta. Marathon Digital Holdings and Riot have been on fire in the crypto mining space. So Marathon Holdings up 15% and Riot up just 10% this week. With that in mind, guys, the Bitcoin market has been relatively calm and slow this week with the price hovering around 43.5K after a brief dip below 39K. The overall sentiment is neutral, but some new coins are doing well, such as Alt, Manta, and Ondo. On the altcoin front, SUI has had an impressive week with a 50% increase in price, making it a top 10 coin in FDD. Meanwhile, TAO, Blur and Waves have been making waves in the NFT and DeFi markets, while GNS and DYDX have been making strides in the decentralized exchange space. You can let me know later, no, and then I can did come you, back. Did, 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 did you? Did you? With that in mind, let's take a look at the week's events and earnings. With a powerhouse stack of heliocentric and geocentric astro events on January 26th, we've got a lot coming up. S&P 500 has also been pushing into new record highs of six days of green in a row. But as seen, it's recently dipped and it's not completely there anymore. But besides the point, the S&P 500 has been amazing. Um, obviously, yesterday, the Federal Reserve decided to not cut or raise rates. So that kind of had a ripple effect on the market. But besides that, um, the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100 are doing great right now. And um, I'm, I'm pretty um, optimistic about the future of what's going on with these stocks and what's going to happen this election year. Finally, let's talk about what to do and what to avoid this week. Trust your intuition when making decisions and work on your vision or set a new one. Don't forget to work out, keep your energy levels high, um, make sure you guys are making consistent and correct trades, um, not emotional trades. It's all a psychology game. So make sure you guys are doing your best, um, especially right now. There's been a couple of dips and it's not been the best. I know that. Um, so just be careful with the trades you guys are making and it'll be okay from there. And that's all for this week's market update, guys. I know um, it's not a lot, you know, I'm, and I'm sorry for that. But I really am doing my best right now. I'm working five days a week. I posted that video yesterday, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. It's a great video. If you guys haven't already, go watch it. SGHD, the story of a dividend hero. If you want to watch that, it's a good video to watch about the history of SGHD. But besides that, guys, um, we're going to go into um, my portfolio and do a little review since we haven't done it in a good minute. So let's hop right into that. Hi guys, let's hop right into my portfolio update. I did update a couple of the ETFs, added a couple more glue, uh, Schwab US dividend and the Vanguard high dividend yield. I've added a couple more shares of that. Um, for the Vanguard S&P 500, okay, for the Vanguard S&P 500, I currently have 0.79 shares. So I'm currently up a little bit from last week. Average cost of 4.38 and 58 cents at a total profit of 97 cents today and a total profit of $5.11 today. So we're doing pretty good today so far. For the Schwab US Dividend Equity, I have a current shares of 4.19 and an average cost of 75.82 and a total profit loss today of 73 cents with a total profit of $1.24 and we're up 39% right now, so that's pretty good as well. For the VUIM or the Vanguard High Dividend Yield Index, I currently have 2.48 shares at an, at an average cost of 110 and 74 cents and we're at a loss of 99 cents today but a total profit of $3.30. So we're at a total of 278 invested in this so far. And for my dividend guys, we're looking very good. I'm, I'm compared to a couple weeks ago and everything. If you guys look back at my 
previous videos you can see the change that's been going on i've been putting a lot of money into this so it's good seeing this progress but currently we're at two dollars and nine cents monthly seven cents daily 2.5 percent yield and a 2.53 percent yield on cost which is amazing and currently Schwab us dividend etf is making me the most dividends with vym vanguard high dividend yield index at second place with eight dollars and 33 cents and the vanguard s&p 500 or vu pay me five dollars and two cents at third place and then we got vti which i haven't really messed with so far but yeah it's been looking really good guys um i i'm i'm so excited to see what's going on or what's going to happen in the next year and everything so taking everything at one one day at a time and i'm excited for what's next and i appreciate you guys so much so thank you guys for listening in uh, i appreciate you guys for coming back to the channel if you're a returning subscriber or viewer and i just want to say thank you guys so much and i'll be posting more content pumping out more content for you guys it's going to get better for sure so thank you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next video mm -hmm. common denominator.